started. Jeff Gordon is the leader. And look who is in second position. Dale Earnhardt Jr. is on the move. Tony Stewart locked his left front tire up getting into turn three. Spin and heavy contact. McMurray's involved. Montoya's involved. Ryan Newman slowing down. David Reagan is there. And now fire on the front of one car. The two car is damaged and lots of fire on Juan Pablo Montoya's car. He needs to shut that car off and get out of it. He sheared an oil line or fuel line here. He's trying to get out. He unhooks the belts and climbs out right at the start finish line. Juan able to wave to the fans who applaud the fact he's able to get out of the car. A chain reaction crash as they were coming out of turn four to the start finish line. Montoya, he is okay. They're going to have him take him in to be checked out at the care center. NASCAR has those kind of rules that make sure a driver has contact. Now, the two car had to finish 36th or better tonight, and he was damaged in that uh, fray just a moment ago. Yeah, and he's not in much trouble right now because the rear wing is in pretty good shape, but it's awful high up. It got pushed up, and that can call the, cause the car to push really, really bad, slide the front end. So this can mean big trouble for Bush. I heard the uh, fire underneath the 31 car. We had just gone back to green. Now watch top of your screen coming out of turn four, and you're going to see this thing all start to develop. The 12 car spins. And they'll all jam up behind him. There's the 12 car with Kenseth right behind him, and now no one can see a thing. Kevin Harvick makes a good move down through the grass, doesn't get any damage. He gets through it. Harvick gets right through it. No problem whatsoever. Watching from the in-car camera. Well, Harvick dodged a bullet right here. Jeff Burton on board camera. He sees all the smoke. And where do you go? Go to the bottom of the racetrack. Go where there's vision. And he had vision down low. You don't go to the top of the racetrack, even though the cars might slide from the top to the bottom because of the banking angle. From the flag stand, right at these guys. How quickly a great reaction by Rick Monroe and Rodney Weiss of Flagman. And then flower just erupt, fire erupts in the front of this Dodge. He sheared an oil line or a fuel line and he tried to take off. And as soon as he did, it just, you know, this fire erupted. He just stopped and got out of it. Uh oh, this could be a problem here for Harvick. This is not good news. Harvick's car overheating real bad. Car Kurt Busch has got a big problem. One thing that happened right here on this, when he went through the grass, he could have packed all that up in the front of this car. Now you see it. And that's that, what that's he's done. Now. They're going to shut these cars off here, and it could help these guys let this thing cool off, but they still can't work on it. They're going to have to come back in the pits and clean this grill off. Remember here in May in the spring race here that his teammate, Jeff Burton, had a very good race car, and suddenly, boom, the engine went away, and he finished 43rd. So uh, Kevin Harvick sitting there watching that steam pour out front of the hood has got to be concerned. And what makes this even more of a concern is he looks at that leaderboard and he sees that number eight in second spot. Yeah, but still, he's, he's got to get up in the 20s right now. Get this car down pit road after they go back, uh, bring the red flag out and put water in this car, cool it down, take the time. They can do that on a pit stop. Yeah, they've just got to go on defense right now. They just got to make sure that this car finishes the race. Yeah, forget about trying to win the race right now. Get it down there, get it to finish the race. Remember that Harvick has to finish 32nd or better. If he finishes 32nd or better, no matter what Earnhardt Jr. does, he's in the chase. The two car that had his damage has to finish 36th or better. Both the cars that Jr. is racing, Dale Earnhardt Jr. race, have damage. Take a look at Kurt Busch's. That rear wing is awful high. I think it's really going to kill the handle in the car. And now the 29 car, Kevin Harvick, problems also. Although, I think Harvick can recover. He can recover as long as he doesn't damage the engine. 118,000 people here understand what could possibly happen here tonight. And the drama beginning to build in this race to the chase. Earnhardt Jr. all the way up to second position. 
Kevin Harvick could be in trouble. Hmm. 